in my favorite Pixar short. Okay, let's see if you're right, because I don't know, you could be wrong. It is. Bounden. I absolutely love Bounden. Now, I'm going to give my uh, understanding, my thought process behind why those are my three favorites. Now, third favorite, Lou. I really love Lou because the backstory behind it is reality. You know, you have, you see bullies at school all the time and you wonder why they're like that and it's either maybe something that they're going on at home, something that they're doing with emotionally and mentally, or it is something that happened to them as a child and so they want Want to do the same to others and that's exactly what Lou is about but it's really really sad how spoiler alert I really really was upset with the fact that Lou was at the end of the day gone because of the boy giving back all the stuff and if you've seen the short then you know what I'm talking about I might sound like a little like what what are you talking about because obviously I don't want to take up too much of your time so if you want to you can go on Disney Plus and watch it I think there's maybe there's another platform with it on there I'm not sure you can maybe check that but yeah, I really, 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 really loved Lou. Now, second favorite is Bao. I really love Bao because it really brought about <laughs> an important principle that you should not neglect your children, number one. Number two, you should not shun your children. And lastly, you need to allow your children to have fun. And I do not mean going out and drinking and partying and all that stuff. I'm not talking about that. Because here's why. Now, Bao is a prime example. Apparently, this dumpling came to life and was her child, ultimately. And she ate her child. Now, this sounds very, very graphic, but it's not. I promise you it's not. If you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. She raised the dumpling. Ultimately, the dumpling did not want to be with his mother anymore because of the fact that she would not let him go play with his friends. She would not let him go anywhere. And he was cooped up in the house and he broke his relationship with his mother. It was severed, okay? He did not want to be around his mother. He went out and was, you know, going out with his friends and he ended up getting married. I mean married and wanted to move out. And the mother was like, wait, 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 wait a second. You're not going anywhere. Mind you, like I said, there's not a lot of dialogue at all. So I'm saying things that I think the mother would have been saying. The dumpling was like, yeah, I am. And she was getting really, really angry and decided to eat the dumpling. She ate her child. Oh my gosh, she ate her son. And then her son walked in, her actual son. Not the dumpling, her actual son. And guess what? Her son looked exactly like the dumpling. Sat at the table together and ate, and it was like a big happy family at the end of the day, but really in reality, she lost all that time with her son because of the fact that she didn't want him going anywhere and doing nothing, and so the son didn't want to be around her anymore, and so he made his own choices. But what I will say about that son, First of all, if mama and daddy say no, they say no. Okay, I'm sorry, but if, huh. but at the same token, you gotta let your children at least do something, some type of sports, hanging out with friends, playing video games sometimes, not all the time, because my brother is, Jesus. But anyways, you just gotta let them do something. You can't sh completely shelter them from the entire world and then they have no experience and then when they go out there, they're just awkward children like me. Not to say that I haven't done anything because I've been on a lot of basketball teams. I'm very good at art. I, mm -hmm, I can sing. Can. I really like making videos, I like editing, of, I've just, I'm all over the place. I like to play the piano, I really want to learn to play the guitar, Oof, but I don't have one. Um, I really like playing video games as well, love them. I'm not saying that I've been sheltered because I've been able to do a lot by God's grace and mercy, thankfully. But I was supposed to be going to Asia this year, but because of COVID I could not. So anyways, but I have been out the country, I've been a Trinidad, so with all of that being said, uh, I really, really like that one because at the end of the day, their relationship was fixed. So, I really like that one. My favorite short of all time, Bounden. Now, when I first watched this short, it is one of the first original shorts. When I first watched this short, I fell in love because of the revelation, because of the understanding, because 
the meaning behind the short. The sheep was the star of his little animal kingdom. <laughs> I don't really know how to say that, but he used to dance all the time and everybody loved him and it was great. But then these men came and shaved him off. And that's reality. That happens all the time. They shave the sheep and then they use it to make their clothes and whatever. Shave the sheep and he was naked and he was scared. He was humiliated. The animals laughed at him on a constant basis. He didn't want to dance anymore. He was discouraged. Then this random deer rabbit looking thing came out of nowhere and just starts to encourage him to jump and he starts jumping 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 just around in a circle just jumping his confidence grew and as time grew and as seasons came his fur or whatever you want to call it came back the men came again and shaved him off but this time he was not humiliated he was comfortable and confident and bold in his own skin and he kept on dancing no matter how naked he was the reason why i really 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 love this short is because of the fact that teaches you that when people sometimes they don't like how you look sometimes they don't like your confidence your personality your character um, sometimes you may do something that was wrong or maybe you do something that's unintentional and then they hate you for it and they talk about you for it you need to be confident and comfortable with who you are if you know you're a good person if you know your character your personality because you are you like me I know I'm me okay I sit with me all the time are you in the bedroom with me at night okay no you're not because I'm me right which means that I know my character I know my personality and I know my intentions and if I am sometimes weird at this point or if I do something there maybe it was unintentional and maybe I'm an innocent person okay but we're not talking about a certain situation here we're talking about you okay you may be that sheep and you got to be comfortable with who you are and I had to be comfortable with me and confident with me and ultimately i was like you know what forget about these people just like the sheep they were like for he was like forget about these other animals forget about them i don't really care anymore okay i'm gonna do me okay i'm not saying that you don't care about the people around you i'm talking about how you don't have to care about what they think about you about who they think you are because you know who you are so with all that being said that is my favorite pixar short that is my video so um yeah i think i covered all of the pixar shorts of all all time I've watched all of them every single one of them okay challenge me if I have not okay if I have not watched all of them put it down below okay in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel I am on the road to 200 so please 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 press the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified every time I post a video and like this video I had a lot of fun filming this one I had a lot of fun on my journey it took me a while to actually watch everything because I had started in the summer when COVID was happening it was like a whole bunch of free time and I was like let me do my journey so I started watching them and then school happened and I had to do a bunch of college work and all of the above there's things added on to that but I had to do all of that and I was like oh my gosh I have no time to watch anything so I was just like you know I'm just gonna have to put it off but I finally finished and I'm so happy that I have because now I can continue my other journeys. I am on a Marvel journey. I'm on a all-time Disney journey, which means every single Disney movie and short and whatever released ever I'm going to watch, which is probably going to take me a long time, but I've already started. And so I'm doing that one. I'm also doing DC Universe. I'm also doing Arrowverse. Yeah, I think those are the ones that I'm doing right now. Um, you know, there's uh, some other ones that obviously there are out there that you think I should do just go ahead and put it in the comment section with all that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in this is a new series that I'm starting because I'm just gonna start doing what I like to do you know instead of making up things that don't make sense okay so I like movies I like video games I like kid shows it's good to be nostalgic every once in a while okay be nostalgic and that's just the type of person I am. Like I said, with all this going on, I really like old stuff. I like film, I like vintage things, I like um, old TV shows as well that I grew up on. I'm talking about like the doodle bops and all that good stuff. Hip Hop Harry. I wish people now are bringing back like you actually watched that. No, you didn't. You didn't watch that. I know you didn't. I grew up on that, that Hip Hop Harry. Okay, don't play with me. You're doing spins on the ground and stuff. Mm.
that big old chain. But anyways, um, that's it for my video. I don't know why I keep rambling. Maybe because I just love this atmosphere so much. But yeah, I'm going to go now. Uh, maybe just take a look at my forky hat. And uh, we're going to see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys like my new intro and outro. It's um, vintage, aesthetic, aspired. I really, really, really like it. And it's like, it's me. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye. Oh man, I, just, I feel like I want to stay on here forever and just talk to you guys. Although I am technically talking to myself right now. That's okay. That is okay. And have a Merry Christmas, okay? Uh, I really would do vlogmas, but I, I would be vlogging me sitting and eating and then sitting down on my bed and then probably doing Bible time and then praying and then probably helping my siblings with their homework and that's not, that, that doesn't seem so, like, like a lot's going on so can't do vlogmas but I will do this. So yes, thank you again for watching this video and I'm out. <sighs> it's good to be back. <laughs>